I'm Jenna. I'm Justine. And this is Same Brain Podcast. Woo! Episode number six. Six. We have a lot to talk about, but before we talk about all of the new and exciting things that came out this week or were announced, we are going to read and go over some of our lovely reviews on the Apple Podcast as well. As well as the anchor voice messages. All right, let's do it, Jen. Hit us with a couple reviews. Here we go. This one from Virginia. Very entertaining. Just started listening to the podcast. Started with Daily Tech, which got me looking for other podcasts from YouTubers. Really enjoyed your content. Okay, we have Smivy said, great podcast. Wish they came out more often. This podcast is pretty awesome. Well, it says, this podcast is pretty awesome. Great work. The only thing I would change is that they never run out. Very well made and professional. Keep up the good work. Oh my, should we high five? No. Oh, COVID. Yeah, don't touch me. Okay. Um, Okay. (laughs) (laughs) This one says, wow. Um, It says, this is from Ike Driver. In my lifetime, I've probably listened to 200 podcasts and this is by far my favorite. Oh my God. We just had to get past that 200 hurdle to get to 201 and then he found us. Well, he probably listened to a couple of them. He said 200. You said you said 200. We need a screenshot of these. Probably, he's probably listened, so it's like an estimate. So, okay, so this maybe. is the favorite. This is the favorite. So, yeah. This is great. Do well, you have I, any voice? I do. I have one here from Emily. Hold up. Wait a minute. Congrats on your podcast, guys. It's so incredible. Like, every Saturday, I get so excited to listen to it. So you guys are doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work, and you guys are the best. Love you. I'll tell you, Emily knows how to give a good review. For sure. Right and there. We have been posting every Saturday unless there is a special event, and then you guys will potentially get a bonus podcast. Oh, yeah, a bonus. Here's one from Anat. Anant. Hey, guys. I really love your podcast. Super fun and interesting, and you get my vote for my favorite. <gasps> we got the vote. Oh, my God. Okay, here's one from iTech Sean, who I always I see Sean. He's always in, in the Twitch the chat. Twitch chat. Hello, Jenna and Justine. That's us. It's me, iTech Sean. It's you. I would just like to say thank you so much for bringing all this to us. And your podcast is amazing. You really do have the same ring. Oh, Ah! gosh. I've been following you guys for like six years now. And the journey has been amazing. And I would just like to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. That is just. And your podcast is Oh, there's more. Amazing. So keep it up. Thank yeah. you. Thank I you, Sean. Sean. Thank you. It's really cool because I've been like noticing like a lot of the people that are in the Twitch chat mm-hmm. and being able to stream and get to talk to you guys has been really, really fun. And so we are also great. thinking about potentially making this podcast live on a separate YouTube channel. So we'll keep you informed. Yeah, where, it's weird because, you know, be. somebody by the name of Justine accidentally deleted two copies of episode, episode two, two video and it has been eating away at my soul i deleted it from tyler's drive i was like oh you don't need it i have it and then i deleted it from my drive and i was like mm, yeah yeah that was a mistake back up your files how do you say files say file. files say it again files F- how- oh say I, it again my files are corrupt i corrupted my fi- a file my fi- files. files 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 we are looking for any type of backup file sponsorship so <laughs> ow i've kicked the desk we're in a new location today. Anyway, Justine, let's get down to business. I wasn't talking about my files. I just think that you, we get it. She's you back, over you back it. up your files. Okay, let's back them up. Yeah, back them up, back dun, them up. Dun, 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 dun. That's roll out. That is. We can change. It's a remix. Anyway, should we Jenna's talk about... Jenna's like, hurry up. Should we talk about Samsung? We should. They're going to be having their Unpacked event in a virtual setting. It's been really wild seeing all of these companies try to figure out how to kind Move of exist forward. Yeah. in this whole new world. So this is happening on August 5th. The Note 20 and the Galaxy Z Fold 2 will uh On August premiering. 5th, a virtual unpacked event. Now, I want to know how many times can we flip open and close the Fold 2? I know. <gasps> I have it's here. No, this is the flip. I know. This is the flip. This the is the fold, flip. The Fold is the, fold is the, the other oh, way. Oh, you're right. The Fold. Well, how many times can we fold it? I don't know. This was 200,000. <gasps> was it 200,000? Well, the fold was before. That was the one that so had how many all of was the, the drama. Fold? I'm not sure, but if you can do a quick Galaxy. Google search, perhaps we will find out. So they delayed the launch of its first fold, which was reported to be, well, it was priced at $1,900, which is kind of crazy. Oh. So then they ended up releasing it in April 2019. 
Was that September of that year? Okay. Well, they found a bunch of screen defects. I think if you remember Marquez, he did the video of showing a bunch of the screen defects. Which one was the fire? What? The battery? Oh. Was that just was that just a That was what was that one? Samsung battery. It was one of the galaxies. I think it was too, but was I don't it remember. The, it was the note because remember you could not fly <gasps> on an airplane with the note. That's insane. What Samsung phone caught fire? Okay, it's already been. That's searched. what Jenna just Googled. Caused all of those Galaxy 7, or no, Galaxy Note 7 smartphones to catch on fire last year. What was last year? No. No, when no. was this article? When that article was This is an old article. Yeah, that was the Note okay, 7. So it looks like it was probably around 2016, the Note 7. Wow. Was, well, I think they figured it out by now. I mean, so, so far, be, so good. It should be pretty interesting to see what, uh, were you invited to the virtual event? Um, I, I was. I yeah. I got an email. I I didn't click on it yet. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that was an invite. Okay. Is it a public thing though, or is it an invite only thing? I feel like it's public because normally these unpacked events you can view them online. True. So I think. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna sure. just say that my invite was very personal, so I'm not really sure. Braggy. A five. No. Well, here's the thing. There's going to be a 5G version of the Galaxy Z Flip. So that's where I got my I got my wires crossed because there is going to be a 5G version. Now, what do we think will be like the same? They're going to I feel like they couldn't come out with the same phone and just be like, here's 5G. Maybe they'll have like a new color scheme. What will they have? I don't know, but I love this flip so much. Like the feel of it, just the flip, like everything about it, even the screen, even it did have sort of a small little indentation in the center, but you barely notice it at all. It's really and not that noticeable. No. I mean, considering you're folding glass. Yeah. That's I mean, it's foldable science. glass, but it still is, it's super impressive. So I'm still going to be very excited to see what Apple ends up doing because Obviously, eventually, I feel like they're going to go that direction. But I also thought that they were going to have, you know, touch the screen MacBooks by now, and they they don't. So I don't know. I also thought that they would have. Nope. Nope. We're touching our screen. I'm, I'm touching my Mac, and Jenna's touching her Surface. And it's guess what? Flowing so yeah. lovely. Well, I mean, you have your iPad, but that's you can the use thing. it as a sidecar, but you can't touch your Mac. I know. It still is. Oh my god! I, I, I try to touch my screen. I again. took a drink. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, okay, so yeah, I'm excited to see what they're going to announce. Obviously, they have been like very, this is 5G. Like they are like basically 5G. Their devices, the S20, those devices have all had the 5G. And I, I you know, this was supposed to be the year of 5G. And I feel like device-wise, yeah, Samsung I, has been nailing it. And I thought you were going to say that Samsung has been very secretive about what they're launching. I was like, this has all been leaked. No. But look how good <laughs> this gold Note is 20 like a rose looks. gold? It is. Oh yeah, my gosh, it is so that's beautiful, crispy. Well, even like their little invite was like the rose gold color. That's that's made for you. I know it's wow. perfect. Juicy. There's also uh, looks. It seems to be a video that someone has leaked of the S20 Note Ultra already. No. Yeah. No. Look at this, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy with that leak. Jimmy. Jimmy. Look at that. <gasps> Jimmy, I'm gonna put on chaps. Jimmy, look at thing. you! Oh my goodness! Wouldn't like you get in trouble for that? Well, I mean, if he's able to sort of get this from somewhere and doesn't have any plans to ever potentially work with Samsung in the future, yeah, Jimmy, do what you want. All right, Jimmy, do what you want. Do what you want with that body. Can't stop. Can't. Okay. Can't stop the leak party. Yeah, Jenna knows what's up. I have no idea what I'm doing in life. It's okay. Does anybody at this point? I feel like also this podcast that we're doing right now, like, I, don't, I don't know why I'm struggling so bad today. We're, you know, we're every day is through. a struggle. I think maybe we have too much caffeine before we go live. <clears throat> what I want to talk about, have you seen the announcement for the new Lamborghini, I think it's a CN, CN? Lamborghini CN Roadster? I have not, Jenna, but can you tell us about well, it? Well, it's a hybrid supercar with more wind, but it looks so good. This article says that only 19 will be built, but they're all sold out. <gasps> Do we think that our friend Jordan got one? This is something that I feel like Jordan would be I first actually, on the list. I don't know. Well, that's tough. I'm not sure. This is where we could 
you know, call them, call them up. We could. But 19, that's a, that's a pretty low number. It is a really low number. They have this one I saw. I think it was... Uh, okay, like, but these colors are awesome. Yeah, there was one. It was like 3.5 million. I actually don't know what the price point Oh, I'm is. sure Jordan's probably going to get three. He's going to be three of them. Oh my gosh. Like, look at these. Max speed. <gasps> 350 kilometers per hour. 217 for us. Miles per hour. Us, uh, number 12 mm -hmm. cylinders. Acceleration less than... Is that 2.8 seconds? From zero to sixty-two miles per hour in under two point eight seconds. I mean, electronically I'm not much of a car controlled all-wheel system. Oh, it has the Haldex Gen Four. Three. Oh, duh, that's a three. <laughs> no, that's four. That's four. <laughs> Roman numerals. It's the microphone was blocking one of them. It was pretty cool. Though. Anyway, I mean, I just saw this the other day, and sorry, I keep talking over you. I, I just, it's, I think we definitely need to figure out a way so I can see you because I'm going like this, and then I can't see you. I'm. Um, it's okay. It's a time that it's we're okay. having. What was really upsetting about watching Lamborghini's um, live stream was they tweeted like, oh, we're going to be announcing something. And then they never linked the live stream. Like they didn't change their banner on their really? Twitter. They weren't like promoting it. I was like an hour after. It's like, what are you guys doing on your social media? You haven't said anything. Like, what's up? You guys need help? So then how did you find it? I had to actively search for it. Like I saw one mention of like, oh, Lamborghini is announcing something. But like, it wasn't trending, like nothing was happening. So I'm really, really upset that Lamborghini is not utilizing their social media. But also, do they need to if you're going to buy, I mean, the people that are going to buy the $3.5 million car probably are, I mean, I think I, that we I should test know. drive it. Is it going to be in Forza? That's Maybe. what I'm concerned about. They have an esports section on the Lamborghini site. I was like looking no at way. it. Yeah, they've got like this whole thing. So I was just thinking like Forza. Remember when we went to London? Was that the, the um, that was the Lamborghini, right? No, that was the McLaren. <gasps> it was the McLaren. Yeah, because I sat in it and like they took my drink from no, me before I what? even got anywhere near the McLaren. They were like, What's they the took McLaren? my drink. Yeah, it, and then we test drove. I forget which model it was, but we did a test drive of one. They of course wouldn't let us drive. But they did say that if we really wanted to test drive one, we could just go to the dealership and maybe ask kindly after signing away our lives. I'm looking now, I'm looking up Lamborghini and Forza. Hmm. Forza's really fun. God, Forza's so fun. Well, anyway, there's a new very expensive hybrid supercar, which I thought was going to be interesting. So the, you know, not electric completely. Cars, phones, video games. We're getting into cars. I mean, I still need to get an electric vehicle. Do you want to talk about cameras next? Or Should do you we? want to talk well, about the OnePlus Nord? I'm going to talk about the OnePlus Nord because this okay. is another virtual event that they're having. It's going to be launching on July 21st. So it's crazy because people are so good at getting all of the information and details out before a phone or something is released. So a lot of times, especially with OnePlus, I feel like everything is usually already out and revealed but they do have a new phone coming out. So Ooh. it says this confirmation isn't a total surprise. The fact that it's going to have six cameras. That's actually funny. It says it's going to cost less than $500. Yeah. So this phone that they're potentially coming out with is going to maybe be a higher end phone than their last version of <gasps> the 8 Plus but also cost less money. Does it's that expected to feature a flat, simple design, a multi-camera setup, and 5G connectivity. Yeah, which is great because... Wow. OnePlus, I feel like, has been getting criticized a lot for having higher end priced phones, where the appeal of OnePlus, especially over in India and other places, is the fact that it was affordable. So they started upping those prices as they were getting more features. So for them to release a powerful phone in, with a cost effective price is, is super important. Yeah, it says that they're launching more competitively, competitively priced phones like the iPhone SE and the series of the Galaxy A devices. So that is very interesting. And do you hear Maddie? Not to change the subject, is but that him? Matthew, that is him. our doggy. Oh gosh, he had a he haircut. He just got a today. haircut. He has been so <gasps> disgusting because there's been a lot of changes as far as when you can take your dogs in to get grooming. So there's limited hours. So he hasn't had a haircut in so much long. Much like humans who haven't been able to get a haircut, he also has not been able to get one. And he's just had so much fur and fluff. Like I took him on a walk the other day and he brought home like this twig in his tail. I'm like, where was that hiding? And <laughs> He got a summer trim. He did. It's so a look. This is, if you guys are watching the video, this is Maddie before, and this is Maddie after. Oh, no. So I have a meeting right now at 2.30. Okay, that's now. So we might have to pause the pod, and you guys aren't going to notice a difference. You're not going to notice. Or you might. So If you're watching do, video, we might come back a little bit sweatier. Should we do a pod pause? 
and we are back. Uh, I, oh, my, my Apple Watch is dead. It's like two hours later. It's around an hour and a half to two hours uh, later. The light has maybe changed a little bit, but if this is audio, we you are can't still tell. the crispy content. The same. No. Same crispy same content. Crispy, same crispy audio in your Speaking ears. Speaking of crispy content. Hold on. Wait. We also have to address. You guys can't see it. I'm wearing a different pair of glasses because I've misplaced the other ones. I had oh. On. So I, I don't know where they know. went. I haven't looked at you. I also was looking for some chewing gum or a mint and I found these Christmas holiday mints. Can you hear this? And I was like, this is interesting. Like, you know how like medicine or like, you know, Advil and like they, they have an expiration date. And after that, it's like if you take them, they're just kind of less... They're just like lower in potency. Potency. Something. Stop crunching. Can you guys lower hear that? Potency. Anyway, I was like, these mints aren't as strong. And Justine said, well, when do you think they expired? And I said, this tastes like a nice 2017 expiration. Okay. Can you hear that? Yes. Can Tyler hear that? Can you hear that? How loud? Stop. Is it? Stop. Is it, what does it sound like? Does it sound like I'm eating sand or stone? It just sounds like you're crunching loudly. Tell okay. us the expiration. Only 2019 of June. You made it seem like it was going to be like a 20-year-old mint. No, I know, but it's not. So six months ago? No, wait, that wasn't a year ago. It actually tastes <gasps> like soap. That was a, a year, year ago. This was. This is expired a year well, ago. Well, anyway. Listen, I just want to say, I don't feel like talking about tech anymore. It's all I ever talk about. <gasps> and I'm going through all this list of stuff, and all we've got is tech to talk about. Well, this is our tech. Welcome to our tech talk. I know. <laughs> but... What else can we talk about? You know what I want to uh, talk about? Oh, shoot. I already forgot. Okay. <laughs> what on earth has just... How are we going to brand ourselves if you just talk about whatever you want to talk about? I don't know. <gasps> Your nano leaf lights. You haven't hung them up yet? I, I have saw them. not. Speaking of tech, you don't want to talk about tech. I the, do want to talk about these. I'm obsessed with the nano leaf lights. I have these the... Are oh, the, the canvas. canvas. I don't have the canvas. The, yes. These are incredible. So I have... I haven't opened them yet because I'm trying to find the perfect place for them. Mm. And now we're kind of redoing the studio, trying to find a place to do our podcast setup, which you guys may be seeing here. This is my old unboxing room. <gasps> I just thought about something what? really exciting when we have the logo. Tyler mentioned it. Neon sign. Oh, yeah. Like the neon laser, kind of the, the laser Zoom. lights that just Zoom. projects it on the background. Zoom. Zoom. That's a laser. Huh? Zoom. Jenna's a laser. Is there a laser? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, that's fine. Oh, what's the sound? Well, we can add a laser. Anyway, I know you don't want to talk about... Tech. No, I do want to talk about it, but I also want to talk about something else that's not tech. So let's talk about this other tech thing because this is, is actually really exciting this is news. A very, very exciting This news. is setting the precedent for all other cameras that will be coming out in the next several years, actually. So Canon has kind of stepped away. For, well, you know, they, they bounced back, but they were, you know, not, not doing so hot for a while there. For a couple of years, I feel like they kind of fell behind, but they are back better than ever. Yeah, this is really exciting because I used to be all Canon mm -hmm. and then I switched to Sony kind of during that transitional period where, where Canon was just unable to fulfill. And I think a lot of that had to do with the tsunami, which I think oh, yeah. before that was a lot of the reasons for fulfillment and a lot of a lot of things kind of stemmed from that. But this is pretty exciting. So I haven't watched the video yet at the current time of this, but you just said oh, yeah. that Peter McKinnon, Peter McKinnon has McKinnon, had this camera. He's had hands-on. I didn't watch the video as well because this was honestly just announced today. But the EOS R5 and R6, and people seem pretty excited about the R5. Now, we're recording this. Obviously, we post this on Saturday, so this is Thursday. The What is the date today? It is July it's 9th. July 9th. Happy July 9th, Jenna. Thank you. Happy Saturday to Wait, everybody what? listening and watching. Yeah. Watching? Watching. Oh God. This watching. Is, I'm having you. a struggle. It watching. is real. I love that. Let's have a watching party. <laughs> watching party. Okay. We can do it on Discord. But it's here's the thing. Think really about it. If you're watching, if you're watching Netflix, like, and you're on your phone, you're half watching, half listening. You're watching. Oh my God. We just created this is something. Brilliant. <gasps> okay. I need to register the domain. Wait a minute. We could honestly Watch. change everything to the watching. Welcome to the watching. Guess what? Oh my gosh. She's trying to, she's click, click, clack, Shh, Hold on, I'm looking something up, Jenna. Okay, well. Don't watch wa Welcome to the watching. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. It's like, if you want to look, you can, but you're not going to miss it. Dude, dude, hello. I'm, I'm saying, dude, watchening.com is freaking available. I'm buying it right now. Was well, that how you would spell it? How would you spell it? How watching, W-A-T-C-H, like watch in and then ing. Watching. Watching. For some reason, I thought there would be an E-N. Really? Watching. 
Because it's like listen, E N. So watch E N I N G. Well, but see, what I was thinking is no. I was saying, I was, it, was, it was like I was saying I was watching, but I was watching. And so then I, I thought accidentally it was like added a, an ing. I thought it was a watch slash listen. So watching, like E N. You're. You're vetoed on this one. Well, only because let's see. Okay, they they both might be available. This Watching. is fun. This is incredible. Honestly, oh this my is god, the most appropriate thing for the podcast because if you listen. Okay, cool. But if you're watching, okay, cool. You know, you could get this type of content oh anywhere. My both of them com. are available. Well, not anymore because just you have purchased. I'm them. buying them. I'm buying both of them right now. You might so be onto something. I'm on. To, you know, you should see some of the domains that I have. I believe me, we've talked about feces.finder.com. Um, feces.finder.com. You guys check it out. It's really a very popular it's website. Very popular. We had um, a lot more free time back in the day. Yeah, it was when we went. To, we used to do Squatch Watch. Oh, this is great. Okay, make sure I do not forget to continue purchasing okay. this because this is now ours and it is going to link to our podcast. But it's kind of crazy because honestly, like that is a new, like we have watching, we have listening, but think about how you consume TV. Like think about before you go to bed, if you have a show on, like I have been watching Friends and The Office. I just have this on the back. Like I'll watch it or I'll be just be listening to it. Like I'm actually watching it. Oh my God, we're watching. You guys might be watching right now. This is insane. My mind right now is like going like, wow. I want to talk about the camera because I'm very, very excited about this camera. I'm excited about what this Wait. means for the competitor I'm cameras. So, hold on. I know we want to talk about this. Please one second, just one second. I just looked again. up Jenna Ezerik up on Urban Dictionary and it Cute said- Cute trash. It said, sorry, we couldn't find Jenna Ezerik, but try one of these. Cute trash. <gasps> Whatever. Okay. Anyway, tangent. Now we can talk about the camera. I'm actually very excited about this because obviously we both are Sony shooters. We have been for many years and I used to be- a huge Canon fan. I mean, we started like, well, you were had Nikon and then like I was mm -hmm. basically like the G seven X was my camera. Like that was my vlogging camera for well, a long time. Nikon was the first to kind of enter into that whole world mm -hmm. of being able to shoot with the DSLR, having video be integrated. Oh my gosh. I remember I have this one video from Hawaii. I went and tested it and it was an, and I, um, when I was testing it, like <gasps> right before I took it on this trip, yeah. I put the strap you know how you have to have the straps yeah. very specifically mm -hmm. laced just yeah. so it's through different. the through the um, yeah. little side there. Well, it wasn't laced, and I put it and around my shoulder, and it fell. Mm -hmm. And this was like a pre-production model, and mm -hmm. I was freaking out because I was supposed to be traveling to test this out. But anyway, long story short, Nikon Terrible. first, then Canon, well, and we were then using the Was it the 60D, and then they had the 70D, and then I think eventually the 80D? I think the 70D is where I might have left off. Just so I did the 60D, which was 60D. That was like my first like big purchase into like the YouTube world. I was like, I'm gonna buy this camera, and like you know, it was I don't even remember, maybe like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars, and it was like a cheap lens that was on it. But I'm like, this is my little camera, and I can shoot my little YouTube movies like in my room and or college, wherever I was, and that was my first big purchase. But it's crazy what you can get a body now for like $1,500 plus you can get a lens. So I think that's what's really special about this time that we're kind of in right now is really you, you can shoot an entire feature film on your iPhone, but the price of cameras has come down so much that it's allowing things like this to sort of enter in. So let's talk about some of these specs here. Okay. I don't have it open on my computer well, because okay, I lost the, Canon, the page. That's okay. Canon EOS R5 top features, full frame. Okay. 45 megapixel full frame CMOS. This what does is, that stand for? This is what I'm most excited about is the 8K 30 raw and that 4K 120p. 4K 120, like that's a game changer. For sure. I love oh shooting slow-mo footage. That's one of my favorite things, especially having slow-mo montages. And a lot of the Sonys that we're using now, we can't even do 4K 60, which is fine because for YouTube, it ends up downgrading it anyway when it's compressed into... <laughs> whatever YouTube does True, but to it, it still just looks so good with log and HDR function. Yeah. So, I mean, the 8K video, oh my gosh. So this is going to be really exciting. And I think for a lot of video people, I know I, Tyler's over there just like... He's just like... He's just smiling. salivating like... <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be really cool. I'm so excited to watch Peter's video. We'll also link that somewhere in the show notes. Do we do show notes? Are do we? I do them? I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. Also, uh, I'm dual, sorry. dual pixel autofocus too. I think having autofocus in these types of cameras, especially if you are shooting yourself, this is incredibly it's important. So important. Is there a flip out screen? Flip out? Yes. Flip out the faces flip you. Out flip that out faces. that faces you. And yes, there is, because that is 
one of the key features of why a lot of people stuck with Canon as a vlogger. Yeah. And then when Sony kind of stepped up with the autofocus, we just, everything just sort of focused and we just kind of crossed our fingers and hoped for the best. <laughs> and we sacrificed having that flip out screen knowing that Sony was still much better for the stuff that we needed to mm -hmm. shoot. So this is really exciting. And I, I mean, I kind of want to test it out. I'm not going to lie. Well, so do I. I mean, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Okay, we also have the eight stop in body, uh, superior image stabilization. Very, very nice. I mean, this is having the in body stabilization. Oh gosh, is, it is really important too, it because some of the lenses very. that you might have don't have stabilization. So mm -hmm. being able to have that as well is, is, Pretty awesome. Very, very, very. And there's good. also an R6 as well. So the R5 is the 45 megapixel. The R6 is 20 megapixels. And the R6 only shoots 4K60. Only. 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 Oh, excuse me. No, that's actually. That's incredible. Pretty great. So you can do 8K30 raw with the R5. So obviously the R5 is the higher end model. And what is our price differences here? Well, Jenna? Let's, let's hit view items. Okay, Jenna's I'm going to hit the R5. I'm going to view the R6. Ooh, okay, that's with the lens. Um, okay, so body only, we have the Canon EOS R5 mirrorless. It says $3,899, available for pre-order right now. And the R6 is 2,500. Okay, so almost, almost 4,000 for body only. Hmm. But here's the thing, it's like, this camera, what would it be equivalent to? Like, like a bigger, it's just the capability of this in this small, compact, mirrorless little body. 8K, I keep hitting 8K. the microphone, I'm 8K. sorry. Like, it's okay, I'm not mad. Well, no, but they might be mad. Nope, I am, I'm not cheering for you. Just, <laughs> yeah, well, this is 8K, 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 8K. What I'm wondering though, is there an 8K shooting limit? How long will it shoot for? Recording time will be limited due to heat concerns with this camera for 8K. You're limited to 20 minutes while uh, 4K 60 can only go to 25 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes in 8K, that's actually really good. This is what uh, this is what Joseph said on a website. So we don't know. Like, don't, I mean, don't quote me. Quote Joseph. Joseph. He's Joseph is staff. He's oh. lifted his staff. So he should okay. know. But I think that's pretty great because... A lot of the Sony cameras, now we shoot, we're shooting uh, externally, so we're using the Ninja Atomos, mm -hmm. which that actually can be kind of interesting because you if can there's shoot a recording, raw. yeah, if there's a recording limit here, what if we are shooting externally to, who knows, maybe Atomos might be coming out with something new <gasps> to accommodate these newer cameras oh to be able to gosh. up the recording limit. So this is exciting. I mean, I never want to shoot and record SD cards again. Just be recording externally is so much easier. It's so quick to transfer. The file sizes are larger. They are pretty big though. But I don't know if I would say it's easier. For me it is. If you have well, a lot of storage space. If you have a lot of storage space, if like you're sitting down like this type of stuff, but on the go, like think about like, I mean, my mind automatically goes to like travel content. I'm like, mm, this is no, not practical do that, for me. Travel. Like if you don't have a, another person, but like, yes, this type of scenario, externally recording, Incredible. And yeah. just the raw looks so good. If you have a Tyler to help shoot. You need a Tyler, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, I don't know. I think you, I woke up this morning. It was like 6.30. And I was scrolling and everyone on my timeline, Did the you? tech people were freaking out. And I didn't even freak out because I was, I was, what was I doing this morning? I was doing something. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been tweeting much anymore. I've kind of just, every time I open up Twitter. Oh well. It's just, I it's just depressing. It is. But today was exciting because I just saw nothing but Canon and I was like, oh, this is, people are getting excited. But yeah. now should we address something that, yes. some rumors, which this is, the community is also hype. excited about? Hype. Did you hear, can you hear the excitement? Everybody, everybody. Every, we don't everybody, know. Everybody, the crowd is going well, wild. Off, sit we down. Don't, sit, please. Shh, shh. Quiet on now here's the thing. We know nothing. We know nothing, which... We only have the rumors and honestly, a lot of hope, but we have been wanting the Sony A7S III for years now. We have been want we have been begging, we have been praying for it. Justine, when do you think the Sony A7S II came out? I'm trying to think of where I was, what I was doing. Think it was, about it. I know, I, I know We the went answer. to Hawaii. Okay. Right? No. Did we? Yes, we did. Did we? Okay. Wait, okay. I don't what, remember. What year? 20... Seventeen. Ah, ah. We, need, we need that. Nope. S Eighteen. I don't know. Seventeen. Fifteen. September. We went to Hawaii. September two thousand fifteen. Did we go to Hawaii? 
Probably. We went to, I think. I think that was with our family. Is that when you dropped it in the pool? No, I, I dropped the A7S II in the pool. <gasps> and I just bought a new lens. And the, actually, this is what I was saying. When did the A7S II come out? Oh, you wanted the A7S II? I thought you were talking about the A7 III. No, the A7S II. We're talking about the A7S III. So we're talking about the A7S II. Almost five years ago, this camera was released. And people have been begging for the new version. And there are rumors well, when did the A7 III come out is the question that okay, I thought. Well, let me delete this S. Why would we care about the three? Because well, we're talking. No, no but, you, but the, the, A, the A7 III no, but, came out no, April. Shh, shh. The A7 III came out April 2018. So, yeah, look, that's what we did in Hawaii. That's what I thought you were asking. Remember when we went to Hawaii? But I'm talking about the A7S II. Yeah, but I'm talking about the A7 III because we've been, I've been wanting an update to the A7 III. What is Who the are question? You? I'm so... The people want the A7S III. But Jenna, we want an update to the A7 III, so that's why we want an A7S III. What is the question again? We are having a disagreement we're having live this, here. Oh my God. Live this, on the... I think we're having... Yeah, this is not, different brain. This is the first time we're having different brain. Help! Every, help. <laughs> Change the logo art. No, everybody... I would say the majority of people have been wanting the Sony A7S III. Okay. That's <laughs> what the people want. The A isn't the A7 III already out? Well, yeah, but they want an update to that as well. Like we want, we whoa, want. Whoa, 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 wait. Now you're just asking for too much. The people, if we were to pull, pull the audience, they would be like, we want the S3. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is we have the A7S. But two. Yeah. And then we have the A7 III. And so now it's time for an A7S upgrade because it's been five years, Justine. It's only been two since the A7 III. What is the question? Okay. There's Let's Sony talk about the rumors. There's, there's Sony rumors about the Sony A7S III <laughs> release date, news, and features. Sony has confirmed that an A7S successor will launch soon. They've confirmed it? Certainly. Where are you reading this from? We need to cite it's the resource. In, this is from techradar.com. Okay, that's good. We if just you're need not to make familiar sure. with the Sony A7S range, I just mean, it arrived in, oh, wait a minute, I was wrong, April 2014 Jenna. as an option. <gasps> April 2014. Oh, the A7S range. So maybe it was the original. These powers came from its usually low resolution 12 megapixel sensor. Yep, yep, yep. Followed up by the A7S II in 2015. Okay, I was correct. They, they did a real quick turnaround there. Super quick. What about the A7 III, Jenna? Shut up. We're not, we are talking about the S. S, S remember S Club 7? I do, I do. Do you remember SR71? No. Oh. Okay, how do we get to, the, okay. Sony rumors, once again, uh, A7S III sensor could be a 15.3 megapixel sensor. Mm. Stack, stack design with uh, integral memory rumored, a rumored 61 megapixel mode. Wow. Which the Sony a7R4 has the 61 megapixel photo option because I love, I have the R3. I never upgraded to the R4 because I was like, you don't need that. You want it. The buttons on the R4. Nice. Such a, if, if the Sony a7S III has the buttons of the R4. Oh my God. Oh my God. So this is, oh God. did you get to the cooling yet? So this is no. a rumor, you guys can't see it, but if you're watching the video, uh, we'll be putting this graphic in. So it's showing an all new cooling system. And one of the things that I think a lot of us had trouble with, with especially like the A7 III, the A7S II specifically, is overheating problems. So you had For that sure. restriction of recording limit, which, I don't know if it was a licensing thing or they just I don't know. said that that was a whatever or just blamed it on the heating. Uh, but a lot of times it would overheat. So that would be kind of why you have a recording limit. It's saying the details of a new Sony 36 megapixel sensor has leaked online that's capable of shooting 8K. So it's not beyond the realms of possibility that we could see an 8K enabled Sony A7S III. Uh, expected video, video features, DCI 4K capture at 60 frames per second, 30 minute Restriction, Restriction lifted. lifted. Lifted, 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 lifted. Which lifted. means you can film for longer than 30 minutes. Which Do you know great. how long we have been? Well, we've, yeah, a long time. It's really, really tough. No, I'm definitely excited about this. And I'm also hoping that we can do ProRes Raw, especially if we're recording directly into the Ninja Atomos, because we, we couldn't do 10-bit mm -hmm. Raw before, which was, I, I actually... For some reason, I thought that you could. And then Tyler and I, I think we spent like a whole day. We're like, 
why can't I figure it out? And then we finally looked it up. I was like, mm, you can't. So here's the real question. Okay, What's it says up? the viewfinder and rear display, touch screen control on the rear display, increased magnification to 0.78, uh, likely to stay the same at 2.3 million dots. Which way is it going to flip? Because the Sony hmm. ZV-1, the vlogging camera, flips out. It I has know. a 180 rotation. It's perfect. Will they keep similar design of the A7S II I, and the R4? Or will they... I mean, the screen... That screen is... I got so close to the microphone. That screen is basically the same. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at this, oh, this image, looking? I mean, this is... Who knows what this you is? You don't know which way it's going to flip. I mean... It kind of it doesn't look like it would be one that flips to the side. I I just don't think it's going to because I mean, see how much like this little area. Yeah. I I think it's going to be the same flip kind of just up a little bit, which okay is that's fine. Okay. But God, if they had this flip out, it would be so exciting. It would be exciting. I mean, realistically, yeah, we use external monitors and recorders. Are we going to be vlogging with this camera? It's not ideal, but with the new uh, 12 to 24 G Master lens. <gasps> oh my goodness. We need they, to get one to test out. It looks amazing. I have already I have already sent an email. I'm like, how do I get my hands on that? It's cute. Yeah, it's just, cute. it's this cute little lens. The G Master series, incredible. Obviously we love Sony, but I don't know. We just, we don't know. We don't know what's going to actually happen. These I are just rumors. I think it was also a 1.8, right? Was it? I'm not sure actually what it was. Hold on a second. Okay, that didn't you didn't type anything no, real. Sony, so it's the twelve to twenty-four G Master. Oh, G Master. Crispy. Yeah, I saw that pop up in one of those PR emails, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, you know, two point eight, two point eight. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I mean, that makes sense. It, it looks great. It's really great. I mean, just the content that I saw, like some of our tech friends posting, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this looks cool. Definitely excited to check that out. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of start traveling again, just to <gasps> sort of like get out. I've been researching a bunch of places to try to go and I'm looking up like, I've been calling like, hey, what are your COVID practices now? It, and it's crazy. Like everything has completely changed. And yeah. you have to like take all of these crazy precautions, moving around tables in places to eat. A lot of places don't have buffets. They don't even, they're not able to serve food anymore. And all of the check-in desks, they now have like- The glass, like yeah. the, yeah. I mean that, like this all makes sense. Think about a buffet. Disgusting. I'm disgusted. But man, is it good. Yes. I would God. go up for more eggies. How I'm many like, eggs mm. are you going to get? I'm going to get 12. Yeah. I'll get a whole freaking dozen. Gosh, I will I take love. a whole hen house. And I will just a whole take hen a whole, house? Yes, I'll take it back to my table. And, mm. Yeah. I mean, it's not good. Gosh, now I'm thinking but wow. about And the, like the breakfast potatoes. Do you remember when we used to go buffet? to Vegas? Like those Vegas buffets? Like talk about yeah. delicious. They were I pretty mean, good. It was they were oh. expensive. But think about all the food you're getting. So good. Very, very interesting, Justine. It's interesting times. What should we talk about next? Um, oh, I, I, would, I just, let's see. I would love to talk about Jenna. 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 I'm so doing all song. right. There's a song. Um, oh, wait, well. Jenna. Well, Oh my gosh, what was that band? It was like all, Soul something, Jenna we could, Soul. We don't need to talk about me. No, we do. My birthday is next month. Suburban Soul. Jenna's birthday. Jenna's birthday. So we found this song because I asked Siri once. I said, hey, S-I-R-I, -I, play a song that Jenna would like. We were driving home from a birthday party when people could have birthday parties. Birthday party it was Curtis's it. birthday. Oh my gosh, yes, we went bowling. We did go bowling. It was, it was at a, like an arcade. It was quite lovely. Oh my goodness, I signed a bowling pin. Because somebody was like, oh my God, I just seen, what are you doing here? I said, I'm bowling. And they said, cool. And oh. I signed one of the bowling pins. Hmm. I was like, are you sure I'm cool enough to sign this? Well, you signed it. They could always throw it away or That's erase true. it. It's not <laughs> like they're stuck with that bowling pin. They're like, man, have you heard that same brain podcast? <laughs> same brain. Same. We're Except working on we, a logo. We disagreed on some things today. We did. I just, I was, I wasn't sure what the question was because I was like half listening. I think maybe the expired mints have gone no. so, somewhere. So what you're saying is back to this, you want the, a7 IV? I don't know what I'm saying. I It's getting warm in here. So Are warm. I'm so warm. What has happened? My new Should sweatshirt. We turn on the air conditioning? My new sweatshirt is hot. How do you guys feel about air conditioning? Should we turn it turn on? Do you it think on. they'll be able to hear it? It doesn't Tyler even has, matter. He's cringing. Okay, he's cringing. We're going to talk faster. Well, we're, we're around like 45 minutes. So last, last episode, I thought we made it to an hour, but then Tyler did an edit, and then I, I went through and I edited out a few things. Things that made us seem really dumb. Oh no! To so make you're, it, so you're saying make, we have five? Like our brain was incredibly small. So you're saying we have five minutes of content so far. <laughs> I want to learn about.
about Jenna. Can I open the door at least? I'm, I'm so warm. Oh my gosh, that airflow feels like- You guys, I'm like dancing right now. You can't see it. I'm feeling like we need to spice this cast up. That's like- Spice this pod up. That open door feels like a popsicle on a hot day. Like, I want to learn about Jenna today. Let's learn about Jenna. Okay, so listen. Okay, so oh, Jenna- Oh my gosh, the airflow. Jenna, let's talk about Jenna. Well- I think we need to learn about Jenna today. Okay, all right. So- Jenna. I have been a vegetarian my entire life. I'm very sleepy all the time. I think you're probably, well, I'm also sleepy all the time. I think we might be iron deficient, maybe. I think that I have some type of sleep problem. So I'm actually very curious, bringing this, you know, tech full circle, even mm -hmm. though you don't want to talk about tech, which is weird. Um, whenever the, whenever the Apple Watch, the new iOS, like the sleep feature, I'm slapping that on my wrist and I'm trying it. Where's our sleep, where's our sleep study sponsorship, Jess? I don't know, man. Clearly, we're trying to get a sponsorship Hit for the podcast. Hit us up for that sleep. To oh, well, this could be real life. <laughs> we also have YouTube channels. We do. Um, but I want something that is that is even more in-depth tracking because also how I sleep, like I usually sleep with this. Let's see, what, the, what arm is this? Which one? Is, this is my right arm. I also don't know my left and right, and I'm, I think I'm slightly dyslexic, but that's <gasps> okay. Uh, so this arm usually goes under the pillow, and this is where my Apple Watch is. So it's kind of uncomfortable when I'm sleeping because I'm like this. I opened up TikTok because I saw it was trending that TikTok was down, which was opening up the discussion to has it has it begun the banning of TikTok. I don't think it's going to be banned in the U.S. I see a lot of people are deleting the app. I'm not going to. I'm you like, know what? You probably already got all of my information, so like you have all my data. And here's the thing: is I feel like there. I mean, I guess in like China and India, like it's it's easier to sort of just be like, you're done. This is gone. But here I feel like they're- Land of the free. Yeah, well, you know. Censorship. Maybe. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And I don't know how much data it's actually taking. I don't think we really know. I mean, we know it's like copying and pasting these clipboard uh, snippets, but I don't think it's gonna go away. A lot of the TikTok creators have been making very emotional videos, crying, saying that they're going to lose all their followers and telling people to go follow them elsewhere. Well, here's the thing, as a creator, like the first thing you should do is expand beyond one platform because you are not guaranteed that platform. No, like which at all. I've seen a lot of these top TikTokers, they're doing a really good job of kind of transferring over to other places, but it's hard to move your audiences over. Like it's incredibly di difficult. It is very hard. I mean, even just like going over to Twitch, I mean, it's crazy to see, like, you're not, just because you have a following on one thing doesn't mean you're guaranteed to have that following somewhere else. So, like, starting over on Twitch and, like, building my audience there, I've been very lucky so far. Like, I've had a, you know, I've got, like, 11,000 followers Good in, job. like, you know, a short little time. So, it's it's just really, really interesting. But I, everyone's always like, oh, hey, we want to get into content creating. Like, what would your advice be? Be just, everywhere. Be everywhere. And it's hard because how do you make content for all these different platforms? I mean, remember how obsessed I was with TikTok? But, mm. And it sucks because it's Gosh. you only can do so much. So, I mean, I posted, I was posting TikToks almost every single day. And then I started doing live stream and I started playing Animal Crossing, which basically took my productivity <gasps> to an incredibly Like what, new 700 low. hours of your life gone? I mean, we're only like 625 oh, at this point. We'll so round it up. Like, how many days is that? Mm. Should we talk about that? It's more than enough. How many days is 625 hours. That would be 26.04 days. That's so like, you lost an month. entire month. We, well, maybe you didn't lose it. Maybe you invested it into mm, well, virtual game. I, don't, I, made, I made new friends. That is important. I've made a lot of new friends because of Animal Crossing. I would say the same. And I feel like it's cute because we've kind of built like this little community around yeah. it too. Like ever since we started streaming, like there we have like a discord, you have your server. I've got, well, we have the same server that mm -hmm. you so kindly set up, but like we have our little sub chats where if you're a subscriber to your Twitch or my Twitch, we have like a sub chat. And in that chat, like I'll pop in, I stop in every day, like chat, but like seeing these people build these friendships and they're from all over the world. Like I'll be waking up and they're like, oh, good night. Like see you in the morning. And it's like, oh, good morning. They're like, oh, good night. They're like, I'm having lunch. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm having dinner. It's, it's so just, cool. it's fascinating that like technology has brought in like so many people together and like how Animal Crossing has formed this little community of like new friends. I love it. It's just been really cool and it is such a fun game and, and it's also so crazy to go back and do like kind of the Instagram sort of throwback things. I was basically doing the same thing that I'm doing now five or six years ago, but with a new yeah. version of Animal Crossing. I know like, when I got my so 3DS crazy. and I did that video, like what's on my old 3DS? Like I was like, this is this is what we were doing, but like an old game. So like in seven years from now, are we going to be elderly playing a new version of Animal we're Crossing? That elderly, come on, give up. Like I'm not even, what is the, what's the, uh, the, well, true. the in, in like six card? years <laughs> now I'll be, I'll be the age that you are. 
<gasps> Some of you guys listening now, you might be, I don't know, like what, 15-ish? Like I used to think like someone that was 30 years old was so freaking old. <gasps> That's me, I'm offended. No, I, well, yeah, I mean, I'm almost, I mean, somebody that was 40, I'm like, oh my <gasps> God, you're so Oh, okay, it. we are gonna. This is gonna be the advice section of the podcast. Yes, everyone's always like, "No, the thirties is your like your best life." I kind of agree. I'm I've only been you know here for so <laughs> eleven months, but like I would not ever want to go back to when I was like eighteen to twenty five. Should we talk about when Jenna was eighteen to twenty five? No, because ah. I don't want to go back. No, I would say eighteen to like twenty two. I was like, mm-hmm. no, I don't want to go back there. Like I love being an adult making my own money, making my own decisions. Like if I want to take a nap on a Tuesday in the middle of the day, I can. Uh, you, you, yeah, yeah. You I def- can do she it. She can do it. I definitely agree. I Unless mean, I, I think can. high school was a really tough time. Middle school was a really tough time. I mean, I feel like it's even more difficult now. I With mean, social I can, media? Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine what a lot of people are going through, but it's just, anytime anybody says, you know, it does get better, it's it really does. Yeah. I mean, even now, I feel like we have different struggles than we had back then, but you have more resources and more knowledge and be like, wow, if this is bad, something equally as terrible has already happened. So I know how to kind of jump over that next hurdle. Yeah. And the thing is like, it's it. not always not going to be perfect. Think about our 2018 or oh 2019. God. And well, I mean, okay, no, no, and no. now we're in 2020 and it's really not getting, you know, the world is falling apart, but it's like, you're going to have those ups and downs and it's not going to last forever. But like, yeah, what you're saying is like the resources and like people are more open about like mental health. Mm-hmm, which and is it's very not like, important. you know, you don't have to be ashamed anymore because it's like everyone's opening up, everyone's, you know, sharing their struggles and you're like, oh, I'm not alone. Like you don't have to feel like that shame. Yeah. And I think that that's actually something that's amazing about like social media and technologies that people are able to communicate more. And I think for me, well, I guess I started really getting to the internet. It was like around sixth grade. So I was probably around 12. And that was such a tough time for me because I liked I liked video games. I liked my computer. I didn't want to go be social. I didn't want to be active. But when I found the internet, I was able to connect with people and found people that liked the same things as me. So I was like, oh my God, there's a whole nother world out mm-hmm. there. And now that's even more open because that was a really long time ago. For sure. Yeah. And crazy. it's like, it's, it makes me so sad, like hearing about these kids they're like, oh, I still get bullied. Like, they're like, I get bullied, but they're like, I found like my group of friends like online. And I'm like, well, that's great. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you know what? These bullies, they're, they're just insecure and they probably just are unhappy. It's like, just don't let them get to you, which is such a, ugh, it's so hard to like say that. Cause I mean, we get bullied every day on the internet. Yeah. When we read comments, we read tweets, you know, we get death threats. We hear it all, but we're, you know, we've been doing this for so long. You just kind of shrug it off, but there's definitely those comments that really get to you and you're like, Oh, but it, you know, you just have to weigh the pros and cons and like the support and the love definitely overrides the it hate. Does. And it's like, I almost do feel bad because a lot of these people that are giving that hate, like we don't know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. I mean, they no. could be going through such a struggle of something mm-hmm. that we could never even imagine. Mm-hmm. So it's like, sometimes I'm like, okay, you know what? That person's probably having a really terrible time and it's I'm just going to ignore it, yeah. you know, and just let them kind of work through it. Or sometimes I'll, I'll respond back and they're like, oh my God, I'm so, so like sorry. We just wanted you to reply. And I'm like, not the best way to go yeah, about it. Like way. in that same note, like you never know what is going to happen like in middle school or in high school that will make you into the person that you will become later. It's because I still vaguely just remember like, well, not vaguely, I distinctly remember a, a lot of things that have happened like growing up that I still kind of have carried with me. Like I will never forget whenever my computer programming instructor in high school, he was basically the reason that I started getting into design because I was so set in my ways. I was so set in my goals that I was going to be a computer programmer. Like that's it. I was going to, I was going to program. That's what I wanted to do. And he noticed that I was spending so much time doing the design and all the front end stuff. And I ended up doing everybody else's in the classes front end design. And just was like, Oh, here I can help you make like your buttons look better. And then he's like, you know, you don't have to be a back end coder. Like you could do front end design. You can do that kind of stuff. I was like, really? (laughs) So like little old me, I was like, really? I could do that. I don't have to be (laughs) just programming, but was great is having sort of that, a coding background. I mean, that helped out so much when I started doing web development, doing flash, learning action script. So I think this is like my biggest piece of advice is I think a lot of people always have these, these wild goals and you're like, I'm going to achieve this goal, but don't be so focused on that one goal because you never know what might be around the corner that 
could be better than that. Well, here's the thing goal. about like me. Okay, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I liked science. I knew I liked puzzles. I was like, oh, cool. You know, I'm going to go to college. No idea what I want to do. Forensic so- science sounds great. Like, still no clue. Like, in college, what, four or five years? It's like, I guess I'll just go get a job, blah, blah, blah. But then it's like, fell into the world where I started helping you, started working with you. And I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of cool. Like, I like, you know, I like doing this. I like doing that. And it's like, I went to school for something completely different than what my career has been for 10 years. And what was that, Jenna? What did you go to school for? I, forensic biology. Wow. And did you have a minor in something? Well, yes. I have two uh, two BS degrees. <laughs> that BS? Can, that What's can that stand for? Bachelor of Science. They can also be... <laughs> You can use your imagination. So I have a forensic biology degree as well as a separate uh, biology degree. And it's just like, okay, college is great. It's a good experience. You know, it's if you can afford it, great. Well, now it's all probably online. But at the end of the day, if you also don't know what you want to do and you don't want to go to college, waste your money, waste your time, that's per- like that's perfectly fine. Because I would say that the majority of people learn how to do their job on the job. Like, think about it. Like, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it, but just just like you learn so much sure. on the field and obviously having like this on your resume, college is great, but, but it's hard to get that first job. Yeah. So it's like, how do you get that job without having the experience? So my first internships were all unpaid. I mean, I, I was barely surviving. So it's like, you have to do those things to sort of try to get to the place that you want to be, mm-hmm. but also doing freelance work, you know, reaching out to people saying, hey, can I help? I, I noticed that you have this logo here's how I can maybe potentially help you. I can maybe Mm -hmm. make this better. And just people like sending their work and, you know, even unsolicited be like, oh, wow, that looks actually really good. Like you're super talented. Mm -hmm. I love this. Well, I feel like too, it's, we're such like a weird time where it's like, you can basically create your own job. Like it's not the weirdest thing. It really is. And there's so many different ways to make money. And, but I mean, obviously everything is shifting, of course, with COVID, the pandemic and all of that. But I mean, like Postmates, you like, we could go do five different jobs Right now, just right now, like right it's, now, I could all my from my phone. It's insane. It's, it's just, it's just absolutely crazy. I mean, basically, what I was just trying to say was like, you, you knew you wanted. I had absolutely no idea. I fell into this, and I was even saying on my live stream the other day, I did a live stream of me baking a cake. It was like, incredible, by the way. The technology I loved it. that goes behind that, I was like, it's just me. I'm setting up my lights. I'm setting up my camera. I'm setting up like software. Like a one person. If you think about all the things like setting up audio, like you have to be an engineer, like a stream engineer, like there's just so much that goes into like these tiny little things where somebody asked me. I learned it on the, like I learned it from you. I learned it from the internet. I learned from friends. Like I didn't go to school for that. I just learned it from the internet. Somebody asked me on my stream the other day, like, who does your, uh, your tech? I was like, what do you mean? Like setting up your stream. I was like, uh, I was like, well, uh, (laughs) I did it. Me. (laughs) But all of these things there, it's so much easier now. I mean, the struggles that I went through to be able to make videos at the beginning, like unbelievable. You guys have so much at your disposal right now. And it's really, really exciting. It is. And that's like the thing, like the online, you know, Harvard obviously still charging the same price for their like tuition. And people are like, wow. I mean, I get it. You get, you know, this Harvard black. Great. But like, do these people know that you can learn anything online and it won't cost you $50,000? You won't have, you know, that, uh, you know, nice, shiny, thing on your resume but But guess what you can learn no on the internet anything you want to learn this was also something that was kind of interesting i went on viper's podcast oh yeah the other day it was his 100th episode and we were talking about um he's like if i would have asked you to come on podcast number two like would you have i'm like maybe but here's the thing like you build up that resume you build up that Mm -hmm. amount of content that you've created you need to prove to somebody that like listen i mean business i mean it was his hundredth episode. He's done a hundred podcast episodes. Like that's super impressive. For and sure. I'm, yeah. I was so honored to be able to be the hundredth, you know, segment guest, segment guest, segment. We guest. haven't even had any guests a yet. Segment. We're not ready. We're still We're putting ready. up that resume. Oh God. We yeah. send this to someone. They're going to be like, Ooh. Well, no, but I mean, I think everything that we've kind of built and created and obviously Tyler has been such a huge asset for the past couple of years now. Like just like he gets our vibe. He gets it. He's fun. He puts up with our oh boy. <laughs> um, so like, you know, having like Tyler be addition to the, to the team has been mm-hmm. amazing because he gets it and he knows yeah. like, like I don't have to be like, Hey, this is the shot I want. Cause at this point he's like, okay, I already gonna, knows. I'm going to just, I'm just going to do it. You know? Cause yeah. I, I cannot explain things. It's very difficult, all. which is circling back to 
we've worked together for so long, we would be shooting for each other. Like you didn't really have to explain it to me. I think you explained it once mm-hmm. 10 years ago. And I'm like, ah, got it. Cool. Uh, so that's like the same brain. I'm like, I already same know what brain. you want. And you know, now Tyler, he's a part of that same brain, unfortunately, because he gets it. Yeah. So but he has the creative part and the other sure. part of the he's brain like, where he's like, let's try this better. instead. And we're like, cool, that's perfect. Because I sometimes have that, okay, this is good enough attitude because I wouldn't have time to like put mm-hmm. into doing something because YouTube, you have these quick turnaround times. So yeah. You just have to do it. So it's like having somebody else that kind of has that second eye to be able to sort of set things up while I'm going and doing something else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, for it's, sure. It's been crazy. I think, I, I just don't think people understand how much goes into this. Like, I mean, just yesterday to it took me, like I, the day before I was like, okay, I'm going to bake this cake. Okay. Like I ordered ingredients from not only Whole Foods, but also Amazon so that they would just be there. Cause here's the thing when like here is saving, the thing. saving time is worth it when you have like a million other things to worry about. Like the saving time thing is just so important. They were, did all types of replacements. <laughs> they didn't have half the stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go over to your house, borrow all this stuff. Like to do this two hour live stream probably took me like seven hours hmm. just to like get everything situated. It looked great though. I was really Gosh. enjoying it. I called in you from called in, Amazon Alexa in the background. And I forgot there was a piece of cheese stuck at the bottom of my oven. So I was preheating before I even turned the stream on. And when I opened up the oven, because I looked around, you know how when like things slowly happen, you don't notice. Mm-hmm. So like my place was slowly filling with smoke, and we were only streaming at 1080p, maybe 720. So couldn't really tell. I'm still, my eyes are, my eyes should have been able to so tell. Wait, did they? Were they? Did they see smoke? Did <laughs> they, they let you know? No, oh. <laughs> they saw it when I opened up the um, oven. But so I turned, and when you turned back, I was like, hmm, it's real cloudy in here. Oh. And that's when I was like. I open it and you can see the, the, the smoke cloud. Um, so make sure you don't have cheese. In the I, your like, I don't want to change the subject or anything, but I think we need to discuss this. It's very, very important. This is something that... What is it? So I want to get a drum set. Oh, no. <laughs> so listen, 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 listen. Hear me out. I have hear to me. go. No, hear me out. Okay, listen. No. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Look. <gasps> you don't even need it. You just press these buttons. It's going to be me. You can, oh my God. Okay. That's going to be, okay, listen. So you want to get a drum okay, set. We're going to talk about that. Okay, so in high school, I was in percussion. Sometimes I played the triangle because I was so pathetic at everything else and I had really poor timing that that was the only thing they could trust me. But let me tell you what, there's different size triangles to make different sounds. I think I'm sweating off my microphone it's, again. It's fine. We don't need that one. Um, <laughs> but look, can we talk about the drums? Like I want to become a drummer. I've wanted to do this for a very long time. And I decided on the live stream that, Somebody said, well, actually Trish, she sent me this really incredible drum set. And I said, okay. well, why don't I get a drum set? Well, be- the beginning of the pandemic, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a drum set. I, I learned did. how to play for a release on the piano. Whoa. In two days. So I'm very talented. So do you support I don't, You do whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to get a drum set. Uh, I'm going to get an electronic one. Okay. Because I feel like that won't be as large and take up yeah. as much space and sound I think sure. is a real issue you do whatever you want because there's been a drummer on I think you know when I'm walking Maddie I can hear it's very very loud yeah you're not gonna be like the favorite on the block <laughs> that's me oh god I'm Jenna. sweating I gotta go yeah I think um so all right anyway, I, I think, think that's this it is, this is a good this is a good um I'm glad we could take a segue from tech because I love tech, but I talk about it so much all the time. I was like, I need a freaking break, man. I was like, let's talk about real life. Let's talk about it. We have some new and exciting stuff coming to our our new brand, Mm Same Brain. Hopefully, you know, we've got some logos. We're going to hopefully have our own mugs. We might have a new YouTube channel. We We might also have a first guest coming (gasps) up. Well, we have confirmed a first guest, but we will not tell you yet. Because this is going to be... It's, it's big. It's big news. It's, 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 it's super hyped. So super, super hyped. Within the next couple of weeks. Oh my Stay God. Tuned. This is going to be a bonus episode because it's going to have to go up same yeah. day. So. Same day, same brain. Oh, well, Sa- no. oh it's going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So stay tuned for all of the information wherever we'll be posting it. We're on all the platforms. All the platforms. Jenny's Give us a nice like and a nice rating. Oh, I was talking about the podcast. Jenny's. Well, us. We might be us posting too. about the podcast. That's true. Yeah. We also, well, so, hmm. Yep. Yep, it's a cool thing that we're doing. We're learning to talk. If you want to leave us some reviews, we have been reading them from the Apple Podcast section as well as voice messages to the anchor, anchor.fm slash same brain. 
We'll see you next episode. Yeah, and if you can keep them, or like we'll keep talking. Seconds, like maybe keep them shorter. So shorter. Keep, yeah, nice. I'm, I'm looking for the short ones. I'm listening to the longer ones, but I like to feature the shorter ones. So, you know, a nice 15 second review is is key. Okay, bye. We'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.